Keep your distance, outsider. The last thing we need is some rock-brained city dweller bumbling around. Darkness dominates this part of the forest. Yuella the Hagraven and her Reachmen are encamped here. For now, at least. She did? I find that hard to believe. Delphique knows how I feel about outsiders. Regardless, whatever your reasons for coming, they'll have to wait. Right now, we are in no position to offer anyone aid. And certainly not a city dweller. Yuella the Hagraven and her Reachmen have taken over this part of the forest. And everything here, including the Weiruses, are weaker as a result. Where they travel, the forest slowly withers and dies. We will drive Yuella and her dark witnesses from here. Or we will die. Unfortunately, the old hag is no stranger to weird magic. She has constructed foul totems that suppress our power. You expect me to trust one such as you? Hm. Perhaps, if one of my sisters keeps an eye on you. Weiris Rashan is young, but she will do. Rashan returns shortly from scouting. If you really wish to help us, she can join you to destroy the totems. Here she comes now. Rashan, we have a volunteer to destroy Yuella's totems. We aren't in the habit of trusting outsiders, but the suffering of the forest seems to have softened my sister's heart. If you really wish to help us, I suppose that's an offer we can't refuse. It won't be easy. First, you will need to destroy Yuella's totems. They keep us from drawing on the power of nature for our magicka. The Reachmen guard them closely, but I'll fight at your side. No spells, but I've got sharp claws and a mean bite. I do what I do for the forest, not for you. There are three totems, just a bunch of strung-together sticks for you, but they're like poison to me. I can't get too close, so it's all on you to destroy them. All right? Are you ready? I can actually feel the forest again. This is good. The natural order is re-emerging already. It's still very weak, though. It has to be nurtured back to health. She has to die. Until Yuella's gone, the corruption remains. Her blood is the nurture the forest needs. Whoa. My magicka is returning, and it's making me lightheaded. Meet me over at the old tower. I need to get my bearings. Vandal! Destroying my art! You will regret! Play with the girls of the forest. A game with me, though, many have come to regret. How exactly does my new playmate plan to win? Kill me! <laughs> to kill you, Ella! You must! Find her first! I can reach you, but you cannot reach me! <sighs> Where I am! 
Some is a secret only a crow can know. And the crows call for your death, not mine. Come after me, and the last sight you will see will be a black beak pecking out your eyeballs. Listen, I, I was wrong to be so hard on you before. You've certainly proven now that you deserve my trust. I appreciate your help more than I can express, especially if you'll see this thing through. You did? <laughs> well, I guess we got the old hag's attention. Maybe we put the foul thing on the defensive. Of course, she probably has layers upon layers of protection. I don't even know how to find her. I don't suppose you have any inkling? The poor crows. She's taken complete control of them. Their spirits are helpless. They can only watch what happens to their physical forms from the nature realm. She does have them coming and going though, so they would know where to find her. As a matter of fact, now that I can draw on the power of nature again, there is. I can take you into the nature realm, not in that form, of course, but it would allow us to talk to the crow's true spirits. Do you trust me? It must be nice to be able to travel between this realm and the physical realm. I'm stuck here. Yes, I'm stuck here. If she were here, I'd peck her eyes out. No, she's not in the nature realm. But of course, you can't reach her in the physical realm. Maybe one of the other crows knows more. A wolf tried to eat me once, you know. Just because we're in the nature realm, you think we can be friends now? Maybe. Did that Hagraven trap your spirit here as well? Oh? If you can access the physical realm, you might have a chance. The door to Yuella's lair is in this realm, you see. But you have to break the wards in the physical realm. There's more to it, though. You should ask one of the other crows. We can dispense with the small talk. I know why you're here. Even in the nature realm, news travels fast among crows. Getting to Yuella is impossible, though. Even if you break her wards, entering her domain will corrupt your soul. Well, why didn't you just say so? That would work. There is something different about you, isn't there? Yuella's lair is in the island tower. Break the wards in the physical realm, but enter the door from here. Don't tell her I told you, though. This looks like the place. I guess you're the one who's going in. Here I was, just starting to feel like you're one of the pack, and now we have to part ways. Obviously, I'll have to be the one to break the wards on the door. It doesn't seem fair. You get to go in and chew the old hag's face off. I don't think so. Her lair's actually in the physical realm, so you'll assume your physical form. Probably not so much chewing, I suppose. That's good, though. You'll need your hands. After the crone's dead, you'll have to get her nasty little heart. When I said her blood was the nurture that the forest needs, I meant that, literally. 
She's the source of the corruption here, so we need her heart to perform the ritual to cleanse the forest. So, are you ready to go get it? There. Back in the physical realm. Time to do this. All right, the door should be open now. Go get me that heart. Voices, no more restraint. Bodies and minds together again. The crows of Jackdaw Cove are in your debt. Yes, free and feasted. The Hag Raven was all skin and bones, but what's there is sweet to eat. So thank you for saving us, and thank you for supper. The Reachmen must have sensed Yuella's death. They started to panic and fight amongst themselves. Made them easy pickings for me and my sisters. Now, the heart. You do have it, I hope. You see all the giant vines choking the life out of everything here. The ritual will purge the area of their evil presence. It's necessary for the land to heal. Why are you stalling, though? You've grown attached to those vines? Actually, hold on to it. I have an idea. Weiris Freda will howl, but I think you've earned the honor. Let us begin the ritual, and once we've penetrated the earth, you can throw the heart into the circle to complete the spell. All right, sisters. Let us begin the ritual. It's your moment. Go ahead. Throw the heart into the circle. Who would have guessed it would be an outsider who would show up and kill Yuella? I doubt this means we'll start inviting families from Evermore out to visit, but maybe... Just maybe, we can be a little more friendly. I, for one, am as grateful to you as the flowers are to the sun. You brought life back to these lands when it was nearly choked out. Though we may never officially call an outsider a friend, I think we can at least consider you an ally. Well, I expect you won't be returning anytime soon to enjoy my sister's hospitality. And I can guarantee we won't run into each other on some city street. So I guess this is goodbye then. Of course. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. I didn't think about it before, but I suppose this means the Reachmen are no longer a threat to Evermore either. All right. Well, if you ever come back to this neck of the woods, we'll kill you. 
<laughs> I'm only joking. Where is humor again? Go on now. May her scene bless your hunt wherever it may lead you. Come back and visit any time. Just don't tell Freda that I suggested it. Right now, we are in no position to offer anyone aid. And certainly not a city dweller. Yuella the Hagraven and her Reachmen have taken over this part of the forest. And everything here, including the Weiruses, are weaker as a result. You've had quite the glimpse into our world. A bit more than Weiris Freda or myself would ever be comfortable with. But luckily, for all our sakes, you've proven yourself trustworthy.